Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, Beyond the Bitter to Better. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Psalm 30, 1 through 5. We all think that we'd like to be like David when we read the first four verses. David said, you've lifted me up, you've healed me, you've kept me alive. He then encourages us to sing unto the Lord. But consider this, if you've been lifted up, you've had to be down. If you've been healed, you've had to be sick to give praise to be kept alive. Your life must have been in danger. And then he says, you can sing unto the Lord. He kind of sums it all up in verse 5. For his anger endured but a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. To get to joy, you've got to go through weeping. To get to the morning, <laughs> you've got to go through the night. Someone once said at nightfall, weeping comes as a guest not to tarry, but in the morning joy comes to stay. The mistake that many of us have made is to assume that weeping has come to stay and joy is forever gone. But the Bible tells us just the opposite. The first thing is to notice about the scripture is that it let us know that there will be better times. We can go all over the scripture and I can show you that God's people are not excused from trouble. The question is not, are you going to have trouble? But how are you going to respond to it? How did David respond? Look at verse 1. I will extol thee. <laughs> Look at how God describes the making of the two cherubs on the mercy seat of God. In Exodus 25 verse 18. And thou shalt make two cherubs of gold of beaten work. Thou shalt make them in the two ends of the mercy seat. Those were physical representations of spiritual beings. But God wanted to make sure that we understand that they were beaten into the proper shape. Don't forget the classic verse in Job 1. Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave and the Lord take, but blessed be the name of the Lord. Listen, God is not worried about the circumstances of our life as he's concerned with how we respond to them. Our proper response is always worship. Come on, you can repeat these words this morning. His presence is more important than my problem. When a problem comes into your life, there are two things that are going on. As he did with Job, the devil tries to get us to look at our flesh and give up. But then also, God tries to get us to look at him and praise up. Remember these words about yourself this morning, child of God, that you are here by God's appointment. He is keeping you. Whatever you're going through, you're just under training for God's glory to be revealed in his time. And irrespective of whatever I go through, my response is always going to be like Job. Though he say me, yet will I trust him. Don't be bitter, just get better. The thought of the day, to get to joy, You've got to go through weeping. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey.